only that art form which is firmly rooted in nature and all its manifestations which evokes the innermost yearnings of the spirit and mind and which is supported by a solid bedrock of theory can hope to survive the tides of time. That the Raga system is one such art form is beyond doubt. The work of Raga unveiled lies in fully exploring the realm of Hindustani classical music. Has the science of sound and music been investigated with such depth and sophistication as in ancient India? Sound is the, it's the basis of all our spirituality, all our, all our music, of philosophy. Sound is the beginning and the end of all. Everything has a sound component associated with it. A rag is not only the notes in the rags, it is much, much beyond it. Full of beauty. They are living. You will have to make the relationship with them. Ragas and raginis were considered to be and are considered to be living entities. Improvisation plays a very important part and that's why no matter how many times an artist performs the raga, it can never be exactly the same, it will be always very different. Two people with exceptional understanding of their own subjects. If I'm playing with a musician, I am playing not with a musician alone, I'm playing with a tradition. I'm playing with generations of what's gone before. The everything becomes one. The main artist, the accompanist, the music, the instrument, the listener, the place. Everything becomes one straight line into one entity. How you try to bring the emotive content out, it is not written down anywhere. There are no laws, no rules. It is essentially the performer judging himself every moment. <laughs> It's like law and liberty together. You must approach this whole knowledge with humility. Accepting how your guru is taking you in a certain direction. With intelligent absorption, one sees that upon every musical genius on the Indian scene is the indelible stamp of this extraordinary system of transmission. Music then is the technology of self-transformation. Being able to create something which allows you liberation from the mundane life. That's what yoga also tries to do and music also tries to do at the highest level. It is a path to salvation. Yeah. We treat the raga as something human and therefore when we are either practicing raga or singing raga we are establishing a, a very close relationship with it we get lost in that relationship it's a living identity it's life for us
Over many millennia, Mother India has inexhaustibly and lavishly blazed the path towards unity amidst all of life's diversity. And music is no different. <laughs>